So uh, where, where are all these parallel universes, then? Everywhere. Right now, there are billions of parallel Teds talking to parallel Martins in parallel kitchens. Uh, and are all the Martins having cornflakes? I know. See, that's the interesting thing. Every universe is just that little bit different. Oh, so, so, so some of them are eating multi-Cheerios? Exactly. <laughs> well, it still doesn't explain where all my socks keep going. Uh, that's the window cleaners. Yeah. But where is he? Hanging off the gutter and outside the bathroom. <laughs> Barbara? He wants £20, Ted. When his price comes down, so can he. I'm going to walk down the aisle with Phil. I want him to look good. So... <coughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? Is it house trained? <laughs> do you think it's too bushy, too showy? Then? No, I just wondered if it'd like a biscuit. <laughs> what about this then? <laughs> sort of Michael Caine in Zulu. Gee, why do you want Phil to wear a toupee? I think Phil is a lovely fellow. He's got some good qualities. But he's just got this great dome of shining flesh that screams pensioner. <laughs> I'll go and tell him that we've decided on Michael Caine. I never knew Jean was so touchy about baldness. Well, you know why, don't you? No, why? Well, she's bald herself. She's not bald. <laughs> That's why she's so hostile. See, so you're saying that you think she wears a wig? Oh, no, she does. Scratch her head during Emmerdale and it moved. Never. <laughs> Jean is my sister. Granted, much of her body is not what she was born with, but her hair is. You know everything about her, do you? Every little secret. Linda, tell him he's talking daft. He's right, Mum, she's bald. What? <laughs> Look, she never goes out in high winds. And do you remember that time when we were kids and Dad hired that boat? We went sailing round Robin Hood's Bay. She stayed below deck with the captain. You know why that was. They weren't playing Scrabble. <laughs> he said he'd rather be Michael Caine and Alfie, but... <laughs> what? Ned? I've lost me coat. What? Me grey one. I, I picked this one up in the pub by mistake. I went back, but it had gone. Oh, no. <sighs> Fifteen years I've had that coat. <laughs> It's been part of my life. Oh, God. We had some good times together. It's a coat. Some real adventures. I, I was wearing that coat when I made a citizen's arrest on that old lady outside Dulcis. <laughs> I used it to wrap up that asthmatic collie on the mercy dash to the vets. He was the one Carol Vorderman vomited on. It's just... A, it's just a coat. I'll get you a Snapple, Dad. Oh. And now it's gone. I've, I've lost a good friend. Well, how do you know the coat like you? Me? Well, I might have been planning its escape for years, plotting with the other anoraks out to dump you. <laughs> Leave your dad alone. I'll go all right, Dad. Oh. Hey, you shouldn't wear somebody else's coat, you know, oh. Ted. They could have had a rare skin complaint. <laughs> or leprosy. <laughs> Maureen Mellor's husband once borrowed somebody else's bobble cap and half his forehead peeled off. <laughs> oh. I can feel one of my fever attacks coming on. I need one of my cold baths. Oh, before you go, Ted, which do you prefer? Whichever one suits you. 